Good morning, hi there cherished ones. I thought I'd do this video straight after our morning yoga practice. I know I've been doing them in the afternoon or at the end of the day, so I thought, hey, let's mix it up. Um, and also, I really wanted to show you the um, Shiv Yandra that we made um, quite a few days ago now. You saw it when the, the actual mud was settled, we planted the seeds and you saw it pretty brown and pretty barren, although we did decorate it. And now, check that out. I'm going to show you an above view as well. There you go. So um, every morning we've been doing um, half hour japa. So that's 10, um, 30 minutes of meditation and chanting a particular mantra um, to this Shiv Yantra. So this Shiv Yantra, so this shape, this living shape we've created, represents the divine masculine. <clears throat> And there is obviously the Divine Feminine next to him. Um, and in the morning, this particular mantra we're chanting is about um, the words translated into Sanskrit roughly mean um, seeing the God in everybody, seeing the God in everything, recognizing a sense of oneness. So this is the energy where we're chanting out really, a sense of, I guess, equality amongst every living being really um, and for me I've had to really think okay what am I saying and why am I saying it and what I was thinking today during the the chanting was a sense of connecting every single human being um, across the planet with a sense of peace ease and recognizing the equality in one another I think this seems like a really useful way of thinking you know you're not above somebody and you're not below somebody either um, and I guess growing up I always felt like a little bit inferior to people I remember a friend of mine saying something along those lines and it enabling me to feel a bit better a bit stronger and I think it's quite a useful rule of thumb about being kind to people um, no matter what background creed color gender sense of sexuality so when I was chanting this mantra a sense of oneness um, to the yantra this is the vibration I was hoping to spread um, and also I wanted to say something else today so we've been doing lots of yoga and I wanted to briefly run you through our itinerary so every morning we wake up six o'clock for the Ganga ritual so the bath in the sacred river and then at 6 30 we do um, either a meditation or a fire Vedic fire ceremony and we did a beautiful one today um, recognizing nature in all its forms and beauty and also recognizing and sending prayers to indigenous communities um, which felt really beautiful actually across the globe who um, perhaps are being marginalized, feeling at odds with this modern day living. Um, so sending a real sense of recognition for their knowledge, for their struggles. Um, so that's what the fire ceremony today, uh, one of the elements of it included. And then at 7.30 we do either pranayama, which is breathing um, energetic exercises or meditation. Then at eight o'clock we do two hours of yoga. We have um, an hour for breakfast in the morning, then teaching methodology from 11 till one. When we have lunch, and then at 3.30 we start again with um, our yoga and tantric philosophy, followed by um, either um, kind of how to make a yantra, bhajans, which is the type of singing, sacred dancing, um, and then another half hour meditation from 6.30 till seven, and seven o'clock we have dinner. Um, and then seven till nine, chill out time, and nine o'clock, rest and silence. So it's quite full on, six days a week, but I'm loving it, and um, I'm learning a lot, and I'm really looking forward to building my confidence and sharing this with everybody back home on my return. And that's all for now, much love. Bye-bye.